Good morning. Happy <clears throat> September 17th. It has already been a lovely morning. I got some stuff done this morning that I've been procrastinating for literally months. Doesn't it feel good to finally get it done? All right. Last night, I ate a sandwich and some banana ice cream. There it is. The truth. That's the truth. Okay, so let's talk about it. So I am all for telling a two-year-old no, 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 when they're throwing a fit. I am not all for telling a baby no when they're really hungry. And last night, I was a hungry baby. I tallied and tallied and tallied about 15 tallies till I got to the point at 8 o'clock where I was, I say, grilling. I don't fight grilling in the kitchen. I fight it on my, uh, with my head on the pillow. There's no way I could have fallen asleep last night as hungry as I was. And here's the thing. This weight loss plan, there's one weight loss plan. But there's a whole bunch of us. And we're all different. And you see my busy little farm life with my five kids. You know, that weight loss plan, uh, how could it be one size fits all? Someone might be at a sitting at a desk all day long and not need quite the calories that I need. Um, and there's a lot of people that need a whole lot more calories than me. So anyways, um, by 8 p.m., I had tallied and tallied and tallied and tallied, but I could tell I was like, this is more than ghrelin. This is hunger. So I am not calling it a binge for one reason, because after I ate it, I could have eaten a lot more. Yay. And I did it. I kept it to this little sandwich. No, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't little, but it was a sandwich and um, some banana ice cream, which is just frozen bananas and natural peanut butter and some milk. Um, now it was not weighed. It was not measured because why, why would I do that for so long? All of my overeating and binging, there were times where I would just still weigh it and measure. Why? That's like shoplifting and saying, it's okay, I've got record of everything I shoplifted. But last night was not a shoplift. I prayed and prayed and God gave me his blessing to eat that meal. And I got to be careful that I'm not Old Testament or Old Commandment or Pharisee Sadducee about this, where bright line eating becomes my lowercase g-o-d, my idol, where I bow down to it. Nope, 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 nope. So... Um, hear me when I say that I am obedient to God. He has given me bright line eating as my prescription. And if he wants to write me a special prescription for one bonus meal, oh, I will take it gladly. And it was a blessing. So after I ate it, um, I didn't keep eating until the clock struck midnight, which is literally, literally what I used to do. I would binge until 1159. And that was my personal cutoff. We all have our own little ways we go about things. Um, but I didn't do that. I ate the sandwich. I grabbed a little bowl of ice cream. I sat with my husband while we watched a movie. Oh, and my body thanked me for it because, you know, yesterday I made that video about data. And honestly, that was me white knuckling saying, I want the data. I want the data. So I'm going to be good, 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 good. So I can have the data. Well, I got data on day 16. I needed a sandwich. My body was like enough with the tallies give me a sandwich. So, and that was truly my body. My brain is addicted. I like to tell my brain, no, no brain, no, 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 no addicted brain. But when my body is begging me for calories, I do aim to listen. And, um, so after I ate that, I got three or four more tallies. I'm going to add them to my notebook here in just a second. I texted them to me. Um, and I will not. I thought, what do I do now with my purple check mark from yesterday? It's going to stay there. I earned that bright day. I ate three bright meals. This is not taking away. What I did did not take away from that. I just added to it. So what I'm going to add is I'm going to color in with a highlighter on September 16th, a little, I don't know what color yet. A little highlighter and um, that'll show me that on that day I had a bonus meal but you guys I've, I've said before I was telling one of y'all recently that um, that okay this is so long it will not be part of my five-minute video for the for tonight which I had wanted it to be but oh well um, so I was telling someone recently you know 
our binges evolve over time. I used to binge so hard and so bad at night and it would go salty sweet, salty sweet, salty sweet and it was concoctions of things. I remember like, um, I mean anything, peanut butter and chocolate, marshmallow, ice cream, whatever, chips, cheese, forgive me for listing all that. Um, Rice Krispie treats, uh, Rice Krispies or cereal and butter, like whatever I could come up with in a saucepan, just, ah, just, I mean, fixing to get high is what I was doing, fixing to consume some um, sugar and flour, uh, which would just hit the spot, which means hit my bloodstream very, very quickly, and then I'd be relaxed and good to go, and I could go for another few hours taking care of kids or whatnot. Um, Speaking of which, uh, I've noticed over the years that confectioner sugar, uh, powdered sugar, um, lights my brain up even more because it's even a more finely powdered powder to get into your bloodstream quicker, which is why chocolate hits your stream so quickly. It's just powdered sugar, isn't it? I don't know. I've never made chocolate. I just used to rip packages open and eat it. Um, so anyways, this is a process. Let's process it together. And um, I am not going to call last night a binge. I'm not going to even say I fell off the wagon. I'm going to say I ate a sandwich and a bowl of bananas. Um, I'm going to call it a bonus meal. Um, I could have binged my way into the evening or I could have said, well, I broke my, that's the what the hell effect, which is a very real thing. Oops. Uh-oh, I broke my boundaries. Might as well, might as well, might as well. Might as well go find some pizza. I can get that any time of the day. Might as well go get some ice cream. I didn't do that. I didn't touch sugar. I didn't touch flour. I gave my body some calories, some much needed calories, which got things going again, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. And what I mean is poop. That's what I mean. Too much information? Oh, come on. This is all bodily stuff. We're talking about bodily functions here. Am I blushing? <sighs> Guys, last night I ate a... Oh, I don't want to have to edit. Let's go to the kitchen. So last night I ate a sandwich and a bowl of banana ice cream. Done. All right. So um, again, I'm not going to punish myself by removing a purple check mark. Um, and here's my tallies. So last night after I ate that, I wanted to eat more, but no brain, no, my body got what it needed, which was a boost of calories and Thomas take the trash out. Um, let's see here. So there's yesterday. Here's how I'm going to handle that. I am going to say, instead of, I literally thought about using white out and removing that. No, that meant that I did it. No sugar, no flour, three meals weighed and measured. And then I ate a little bonus meal. Okay. So, you know, we've all got to discern for ourselves. We've got to decide for ourselves. What's going on? Why am I wanting to break my boundaries? Why am I wanting to stuff my face? Why am I wanting to do this? Um, what's the antecedent to this behavior that either just happened or is about to happen that maybe I could prevent from happening? Um, you know, if it's if it's emotions, if it's if it's to um, a danger zone for me is just simply wanting to celebrate that I just accomplished something. You know, I got a big task done. So let's relax into some pizza, right? Um, there are a number of reasons that we would not want to binge. I say to cope with life. Uh, we don't want to do that. We don't want to use food to do that. We don't want to use food to connect with others. Um, we will connect with others eating for sure, but we don't have to do that at our body's expense. Um, Hormone, hormonally, we might um, we might be tempted to binge because of hormones. 
and then hunger and what was the other one i talked about it one day when i was in my staying science-minded video that i think that's it i don't know i feel like there was five anyways um guys last night it was actually difficult for me to, to discern but i finally decided my body is begging me for some food. The lettuce and the chicken didn't cut it. And um, it was just what the doctor ordered. I ate that meal and I slept well and I'm about to make my bright breakfast. Um, I don't feel like there's a wagon that I've fallen off of that I need to get back on. Um, and this is true. A spike in calories every once in a while can aid weight loss because it helps your body realize you're not starving. We're not starving. But anyways, there's um, full disclosure, total transparency. Last night I ate a sandwich and a bowl of banana ice cream. I don't regret it. I'm not worried about it. And um, I'm not going to call it a binge. I'm going to call it a bonus meal. I love you guys. I hope you have a great, great day. 